2019, our inbound was almost what 10.93 million, whereas our domestic tourism was 2.32 billion, and we were number three in the world globally, after USA and China. And after COVID, we have seen that we are number two now in India. And let us hope by 2025, we can be a global leader in the domestic tourism. We have also a vision for at 75, taking into consideration the two, 2035 year, where we are expecting almost about 75 million in inbound and 7.5 billion in domestic tourism. So how strong is the domestic tourism which will really create almost about 15 crores jobs in the tourism in India. So that's exactly our expectations. And uh, as uh, Diksha ji also said that our Prime Minister applauded from the Red Fort that every citizen of India should visit at least 50 destinations in India to explore India as a destination by 2022 when we shall be celebrating our independence year. Now this is the independence year and we are expecting that exactly and we have seen that it is not doubt about that during the COVID there was no chance to go everywhere so people have I think more than that have visited 15 destinations. So this is a blessing in disguise that domestic tourism has really picked up and uh, that's the best way. And for your information, India is a very young country. People say we have a large population. But let me tell you, 70% of the population of India is under 35 years. So this is a big advantage for all of us because, you know, Youngsters, they would like to explore adventure, they would like to explore heritage, culture, art, craft, dance, drama, everything they want to do. And why not? So this is a privilege for all of us that India is really experiencing because of the young country and they are experiencing good in the domestic tourism.